Hello everyone, welcome to Jehu Crochet. I am Reggie and today I have some amazing happy mail to share with you guys. Um, but it comes with a bit of a background story. So bear with me just a minute and I will tell you everything you need to know uh, about it. So a few months back, uh, I saw a post on Instagram by the Rose Cottage Studio, which is Doris. She is one of my subscribers as well. And she posted on Instagram a picture of a yarn that she has received from someone. Um, the tag was in German and Doris lives in the US and she posted a picture of the yarn and she asked if anyone knew where she could get that yarn. Now I immediately recognized the yarn label as a very known uh, brand of yarn sold here uh, in Germany at Woolworth. And for a very short while, that yarn was available at the clearance section of the Hobium website. Those few months when it was available on the Hobium website, a uh, few people outside of uh, Europe purchased it and had it. And I believe this is how that yarn came to Doris's hands. Anyway, she posted a picture on Instagram. I saw the picture, I immediately responded and I said, yes, I recognize that yarn label. It is sold here in Germany um, on Woolworth and I believe that you can still get it at Hobium at the clearance section. Uh, Doris looked and it was no longer available at the clearance section at Hobium. So uh, she asked me if I knew if there was anywhere online where she can order that yarn. And then we both sort of merged on a search um, to see where uh, she can get that yarn and we came to the conclusion that she cannot. At that time uh, all the stores here in Germany were closed, we were under total lockdown. So I told Doris that um, once stores will open I will go and see if uh, that yarn is still available at my local Woolworth and if it is um, I will get a few of uh, a few balls for her and ship it to her. So months passed, <laughs> our lockdown was pretty long um, and then finally uh, about two or three weeks ago uh, stores have reopened here under very very strict rules um, but I said hey I promised uh, one of my subscribers that I do this for her so I went into town um, stood in line, had to book an appointment to get into the store um, and when I finally did uh, I found the last three balls of that specific yarn that Doris was looking for which were available at my local Woolworth. So of course I got all three of them and I wrote Doris and asked her um, if she would like me to send her all three or maybe the colors weren't to her likings. Um, I sent her a picture and she said, yes, definitely send it to me. Uh, and she asked me how much would I want for it? And I said, nothing. Um, this, you know, uh, I'm doing it uh, for you. This, I, I know how much uh, you want that yarn and how important that is for you. And I will just send it to you. Um, so I did. And lovely Doris, <laughs> um, God bless her heart, has decided to turn this into a yarn swap. And she sent me something back. Now, I did not <laughs> expect the amount. You will see because I'm going to, you know, uh, open this and show you what she sent me. Um, but you can see the top of the carton. So uh, you can maybe... I'm sitting on a chair. And this is the top of the ca carton that is standing next to me. Um, <laughs> so you can imagine how big that carton is and how full it is. Uh, it just threw me off. So Doris, first of all, thank you. This is way more <laughs> than anything. Um, I mean, I never expect things uh, in return for anything that I do. But this just blew me off. Um, my husband went to get the package from uh, from our local um, <laughs> post office because we got the notice that we have something in the mail and he had to have help <laughs> carrying this into the car and then carrying it from the car into the house. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's see what lovely Doris sent me. Uh, once again, Doris, thank you very, very much. You really did not have to do that and go way and beyond. I highly appreciate everything you send me, but you really don't have to send me anything. But let's see. I'm excited. It's full of yarn. <laughs> In case that was not clear, it is full of yarn. It starts small, so there is this nice little ball here. It says Wims Merino Z Twist Crocheters Yarn. This is the first time ever that I have seen a yarn band saying what kind of twist it is. So this is a Z Twist. Um, and that is a wonderful lavender color. Wow. It's really soft and I like the color. Out here is a bag of three burgundy color skeins. I love it already because, you know, it's my favorite color. And these are loops and threads, soft and shiny. The colorway is poison apple. Oh, I love that name. Oh, that is so me, so me. It's 100% acrylic medium weight they say there is 285 meters or 311 yards wow so i have three of them that's enough to make a big project there is another bag of three here and this is vanna's choice from lion brand in this blue color sort of like a royal blue nice i like that if i can feel it too, i don't want to i don't know why but i don't like uh, when it comes like this very nicely packed in a bag i don't like opening the bags because it's easier for me to store it like this um but if i can feel through the bag how squishy it is oh some more so this is also the loops and threads soft and shiny so just like the um, poison apple one and this color is ginger peach mm, I, I wonder if all their colorway names in this series are different fruit next one oh we have two more balls of these soft and shiny but these ones are not in a plastic bag so it's even easier for me to open and now I can actually feel what they feel like is this like a little bit like the Karen Simply Soft that I keep seeing you guys um, using? So this colorway is Aqua. Oh, so I guess they're not all named after fruits. <laughs> hmm. The yellow one just says yellow. Okay, so these two colorway names are not as exciting as the other ones. <laughs> Ooh, we have some colors in here. Let's see. They are all caked up. So this is, ooh, perfection. <laughs> Isn't that a bit presumptuous from the yarn company? Hmm, look at this. It's, um, it's a dark purple with all rainbow pastel colors running through it. I love it. And I have three of them. So that's enough to make something big. I, have to, I had to grab this bag next because I saw the label. Oh my God. Look, this is Couture by Go Handmade. Now, Go Handmade is a brand that is sold on Hobby. And I have a lot um, of the Go Handmade yarns. So I know them. And they are wonderful. And the bag is the little bag is full of them, so um, I'm not going to show you one by one, but there's just a lot of them in there. Um, they are wonderful to make these uh, bear amigurumis. If you make a, a bear doll out of these, then the bear will be all fuzzy, and children really like to cuddle them. So this is perfect. I really love that, and I like it that it's brand that I actually know. Um, but I'm more excited about the brands that I don't know in here because those are brands that I will um, never get to try otherwise. Um, oh, there's another. Oh, there's more Hobie yarn in there. Oh my god! 
Well, you guys know I love Hobie. So first of all, this this is Carnival, right? Yes. Um, there's um one ball of this Carnival yarn. This is very similar to um to Unforgettable or Landscapes, I think. Uh, what you guys have there in the states, um, I like that a lot, and I know that one too. This is Bumbo Moonlight. And it is a very soft and sparkly fingering weight yarn. I have worked with this before. I have made shawls with this. I have made baby dresses with this. Uh, I love that. The colors on my camera, by the way, are 100% true to color. That is exactly what it looks like. Available on the Hobie website. Um, they are currently actually getting rid of this yarn. So it's sort of like on a clearance right now. Um, this specific, uh, the Moonlight, the Boombo Moonlight, because Hobie has started selling their own version of this yarn, which is called Hobie Universe. And um, the Hobie Universe is exactly 100% the same yarn as this, the Boombo Moonlight, only it is now under their home brand, Hobie, and not from uh, Boombo, which is another yarn company. And the last yarn is in the bag is actually from Yarn Art. And this is Yarn Art Baby Twinkle. Now, for a very, very, very short while, this yarn uh, was sold on the Hobie website. So I don't know if that's where Doris got it or somewhere else. But Hobie do not sell any Yarn Art anymore because they are sort of like their competition. Uh, they do, however, have their own version of this yarn. Very nice. This will make a beautiful baby item. I think I'm, I might make something for my niece out of this. She would love it. Ooh, now I see a lot of sparkle in here. And okay, this is something I've been dying to try. This is Shawl in a Cake by Lion Brand. For those of you in the States, you probably know this. We don't. <laughs> 150 grams, 440 meters. So it says on here that you can make a shawl out of one of these cakes. You see that little symbol there. The colors are these grays, every possible shade of gray, 50 shades of gray. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I can make a sweater out of them. <gasps> the cardigan. Oh, that is beautiful. I love it. It's so sparkly and soft. It is. Oh, it's very soft. Ooh, some Lion Brand Mandela. That's another yarn we don't get here. That is the color I got. And there are two of them. So I have two. Color, way, name, happy. Really? Are you sure? I'm not sure that is how I would call this yarn. These colors don't say happy to me. Really? <laughs> Disappointed with the colorway name, but I love the colorway itself. <laughs> oh, ooh, I have seen these. Oh my god. Are these premier? Oh yes. Wow. Okay, again, this is something we don't have here. We don't have this yarn. We don't get these here. So very, very exciting. Premier Anti-Peeling Everyday Bobbin. Three balls in one. Endless possibilities. <laughs> wow, I love that. Plum to this dusty purple. And in the middle is this fade between them. I like that sweater idea, but this is knit. So, but I can definitely, since there are, get this, two of them in there. I can definitely crochet um, maybe a sweater with them. Wow. I am so excited to start trying these yarns. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, for this next one, there are six of them. It is Premier Sweet Roll colorway Cloud Pop. Hmm, nice. Six of them. Those are, this is the color. It's like gray to blue. Oh my god. 
oh, I there is so much I can make with this. And I actually had one. I had one Premiere Sweet Roll um, that I got it at a yarn swap uh, years ago. Um, someone sent it to me from the U.S. and um, I remember I re I made a uh, I, I put it together with a different yarn that I had and made a baby blanket out of it, and I liked it very much. So there's like way more than enough in here um, to make a nice project. Wow. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I don't know if you guys will even watch it all the way through, but um, wow. I ha But, I, you know, I don't normally do happy mail videos, but this blew me off, so I had to. Um, so this is Lion Brand Mandela Ombre. <gasps> look at those oh my god i actually have two lion brand mandala ombres um one i got off of amazon by mistake and the other one was sent to me um from a subscriber who ordered it from my amazon wish list my amazon wish list is always in my description box and um someone bought it off of there and got sent to my house and i was very very happy and excited so now because now i have two of the same color um but that was my first ever touching a lion brand um mandala ombre and i saw uh, a lot of people unboxing them when they just came out and getting really excited about them so now i have three in this color right now we have some burnet velvet <gasps> oh my these are big burnet am i pronouncing it correctly i have no idea the balls are heavy <laughs> nice oh it's so soft and velvety beautiful color what is it smoky violet Ooh. Mm. oh that's beautiful i already have a perfect perfect project for this gotta make me some pillow covers and ooh, oh 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 that's something i know again oh oh that's hobby yarn oh my god i got some twirls i can say that without even looking at the label but this is cotton kings twirls 100 percent cotton 200 grams 80 meters per cake it is a fingering weight unspun so those are um those separate strings that you hold together uh, these kind of yarns make beautiful drape. Um, this unspun, that's what it's called, um, or no spin, um, causes the garment to flow wonderfully. So if you've never worked with these before, um, and you're afraid to try it because the, the yarn is not spun and you're afraid it might, uh, split or whatever, there's a very, very... Uh, easy hack you thread it through a bead so you take a bead a small bead so um, the yarn will pass through but just pass through so not that the, the hole is not too big and then when you pull the yarn uh, as it runs through the bead it sort of like creates a traction and um, and the strands stay together for when you crochet with it or knit and it helps it helps with the splitting um, so that's an easy little hack for those of you who didn't try it because you're scared of that uh, totally try it it makes the most beautiful shawls and um, and I got two of these now <laughs> well I have way more <laughs> as you can see <laughs> so these are all all these cakes here are all these kind of cakes and they are all from Hobie also uh, some of them are um, cotton uh, king twills uh, some of them are azalea some of them are some um, uh, black friday cakes but they are all Hobie uh, no spin yarns 100% uh, cotton and uh, 200 grams 800 meters so it's all the same yarn just different colorways and now I have two more <laughs> Well, there's even space right uh, there, 
there this space right here so i guess these two will go in there <laughs> the next time you watch they're probably going to be up there already I had to pull the carton closer to me <laughs> okay so oh there is some red heart bunches of hugs in here now, this is something i never even seen before this is like almost like a blanket in a if you knit the blanket it's a blanket in a ball if you crochet you might need two of these blue grays and white that will make something beautiful for one of my boys i will probably not make a blanket out of it um but there is uh you can see a picture of a knitted blanket um i mean i do knit so i can knit a blanket out of this but i will probably um probably end up making a sweater for one of my boys with this oh i see some colors that i really like <gasps> Ooh, ah, oh 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 that is beautiful what is this this is red hard color scape hmm Oh my god, Cutler Way name, Acapulco. <laughs> I have been to Acapulco. <laughs> Look at the colors. Oh my god. And it's very soft. Very soft. Um, oh, there's a picture here of a crocheted shawl. And it says that this crochet shawl in the picture will take two balls. And I wonder if the pattern for this is on the other side of the ball band. Well, I have four of these balls. So maybe I can make that shawl and something to match it. God, the colors are amazing. Wow, Doris, you did a wonderful job with the colors. Tatami Tweed Worsted from Kramer Yarns. 40% cotton, 60% acrylic, colorway rust. It's tweed. I love tweed. And it's dark red, brown, and orange. Perfect color choices. Perfect. Ooh. Red Heart with Love. Okay, there's a little story. While I open this, I will tell you a little story about Red Heart with Love. When I did, um, I did a yarn review a while back. I don't remember which yarn it was, but um, I was trying to um, give my, from my personal experience, uh, an example for an equivalent yarn um, to, to the yarn that I was talking about, um, in the U.S. because I, I don't live in the U.S. and I have no, all these yarns that you see here in the box, if Doris wouldn't have sent them to me, I don't have access to them. Um, some of them we can order off of Amazon, but the prices are ridiculous. There's an, it, they're like maybe three times what you guys pay in the store in the U.S. Um, and for some of them you also have to add shipping on top, not all of them are prime. And um, so I don't know a lot of brands that are sold uh, in the U.S. And but I did have a Red Heart a Super Saver that someone sent me in one of my swaps way back then, and um, and I said it's softer and um, more sleek than red heart super saver and then someone commented and said oh that sounds a lot like red heart with love and back then i said i have no idea <laughs> i don't know what to tell you i don't know uh, if you're right i don't know if you're wrong i i have no measurements and now now i know yes this is indeed softer and sleeker and squishier than uh super saver no doubt so this is red heart with love metallic oh yeah well uh, i probably should have said that it's glittery <laughs> it's purple glitter oh i love it 127 grams 183 meters Ooh, so one of these will make a hat 
Uh, three of these will make a hat and a cowl slash scarf. And I have four. So I can make a hat, cowl or infinity scarf and gloves. Right there. Wow. I love it. Uh, whoa. Whoa. This is scarfy. Oh! It's scarfy. Okay, you guys have heard me say again and again and again how much I wanted to try scarfy. Um, Christy sent me three balls of this in our yarn swap that I just opened a few weeks back. And now there are three more in a different color. Oh my god! <laughs> It says one ball of Scarfy make a scarf, one ball of Scarfy will make you a hat, five balls of Scarfy will make you a sweater. Hmm. It's shades of brown and black. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> there are three more and look at that colorway oh my god that colorway should be named after me it's black and burgundy it's like wine red it's oof, it screams my name oh my god it's called cranberry black oh so cranberry slash black i guess that red they are calling it cranberry <gasps> here you can see the colors oh my god can you see it like this yes oh wow wow And another wow oh my god <sighs> okay there are three more scarfies here look at these these are like neon summery colors oh i love 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 it we what is this called coral yes 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 neon coral oh my god I might crack into this as soon as I finish filming. Wow. Oh. Huh. There was one more of these packed separately. So I actually have four of the coral ones. The coral ones are becoming a sweater, y'all. Like right now. Like as soon as I finish filming this, they're going in a project bag and they're becoming a sweater. And I think what I know what bag they're going to go in. Oh my. Doris, did you make this? <gasps> this is a quilted bag. It has a snap button on there. It is gore. Dress. Oh my God. Doris, if you made this, wow. Okay, and it's, it's full of stuff. <laughs> what? What? Okay. There is a quilted notion pouch. It is absolutely gorgeous. And it's full too. Oh my. What? 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 Okay. This is what's in the notion pouch. Croquette. Red hot croquette. Um, 92% cotton, 5% polyester, 3% other fibers, which I guess is that metallic strand. They are shiny. <gasps> Look at this. There are two of these 
beautiful blues and two more of these beautiful blues so four of them with two four six eight so 800 meters 880 880 meters I, I can make a shawl out of these four. Oh my god and they look so small <gasps> these are becoming a shawl a croquette shawl <laughs> Oh my god, I have never seen yarn cakes that small. They are like, they are not that, th they're like small and thin. I mean, they fit in the notion pouch, all four of them. Oh my god. <laughs> Beautiful notion pouch. It says, hand by, made by hand with love. Yeah, Doris Anna Wright. Oh my god, Doris made this. Oh wait, and as I as I show you guys this on the camera, I see that there is something else in there. It's a box. <gasps> Look at that hook. Wait. Wait. Is this a leather hook? Because I I used to be subscribed to Leather, you know I subscribed to them um, when I was uh, when I was doing my yarn subscription company survey, but I only got them for like three months. This is a Leather hook. It's a number seven. <gasps> Look at that hook. <gasps> I am speechless. This is... Wow. Okay, there's nothing more in there. So that was like oh, the the notion pouch that keeps on giving. <laughs> How did you fit all of this into this bag? There is a Wonder Knitter from Clover. What is... Oh, it's like a loom. It's a... Um... It's a cord loom. And ooh, oh, that is so cute. That's an owl. I think it's a, a pin cushion. Yes, it is. It's a pin cushion. And it has, um, uh, you know, a, how do you call it? Like a band that you can put it on your wrist. Oh my god that is adorable doris did you make this too okay there's a bag full of tea all kinds of tea every possible tea what are these is this something you put in your tea americans tell me what is that buy the cup I've never seen these before. We don't have these in Europe. Tell me what this is so that I can use it. <laughs> and there are some little... Ooh! Creative Handmade Market. Bead Crochet Ornament Kit. Oh! This is a complete kit for making bead crochet Christmas ornament. All the materials are included along with the PDF instructions. Perfect gift for a creator crafter in your life. And it is. It is a perfect gift for me. Look, there's all the materials in there. And this card, I assume, is the PDF pattern. And, uh, wow. Yes, I will have my hand at it. By Christmas, I will definitely get it done, you know. <laughs> and then it will be on the tree there's something else in here that says made by hand with love by doris so um i have to open it and see what that is it's a face mask yes Ooh, it has it has a wire in here so it will you can pinch it and it will stay on your nose <gasps> wow Doris, I love it, and this is going to be my everyday mask now, and I'm putting it in my bag as soon as we finish here, and I will wear it today when I go pick up my sons from kindergarten. 
because I always wear those cheap one-time use masks and I don't like these because these are not friendly to the environment but I cannot sew for the life of me so I could not sew myself a mask but now I have one <gasps> thank you Doris I love it oh my god no one's made me a mask before. no one made me anything like that before there's more yarn in here oh wow this is an Annie's Caring Crochet Kit Club the gratitude scarf okay I have seen people unwrap these and I have read on the Annie's, Annie's website all about this club and I really like this and if they um, had worldwide shipping this would probably be a club that I get um, this is a club where every month um, they send you the yarn and the um, um, pattern for a different project and then there is also the details of a different charity organizations where you can um, later on if you choose to donate your finished items to so um, like I said if this was a worldwide club this would probably be a club that I am getting but it's not but I'm very very happy to have the chance to try one of these because I wouldn't otherwise um, I love it Thank you and it's beautiful it's beautiful green it's dark green my son is gonna love this color maybe i'll even make him a scarf out of it beautiful oh my god i've seen i see something in here that i've been watching people buy but i couldn't and now and now i have it Oh, there's a little post-it on there. It says, back pocket filled with patterns. Ooh. Back pocket of this. <gasps> okay, first of all, this is the, the, the crochet calendar. And I will be hanging it here on my wall in my craft room to use it as a calendar. And of course, um, I will use the patterns in there. So... We are now in April. This is the current um, the current pattern is those um, hanging bees, and I've seen some people uh, who made them already. And in the back pocket, like she promised, there's a whole lot of patterns. Um, so some of them belong to the calendar, but some of them are patterns that she stuffed in there. Look at all of these. This might be my thumbnail. <laughs> we shall see. Oh, wow. There is a beautiful, beautiful notion pouch. Yarnis. <laughs> Love it. Uh, and of course it's full because Doris... It has pencils inside. Oh, I don't want to lose them. It has a beautiful stitch marker inside. It's an owl. It's a glittery owl. It's a rose less crochet one. Oh my god. Okay, so this is... A stitch marker made by Rose from Rose Likes Crochet. I will link this uh, in the description box below, all the information. You guys, if you don't know Rose, she makes these amazing stitch markers. I have seen her show these. I've been wanting to get these and oh, now I have one. And not only it's an owl, it has a burgundy color belly and it's sparkly. Oh my god. That is a beautiful stitch marker, which will be put to use. You know what? I might even put that into this bag together with the scarfy yarn. And this will be my stitch marker on my new sweater that I'm going to begin as soon as I finish showing you guys all this amazing stuff that Dory sent. Okay, this is the last thing in the bag. The bag is finally empty. The bag is amazing. I love, love, love that bag bag wow doris you are so talented and look at that this is another notion pouch oh 
It's a musical motion pouch. <laughs> oh my. Of course it's full. There's a, look at this little thingy. It's for tissues when you put them in your bag. Wow, Doris, you are really, really good on the sewing stuff. I am so impressed. Ooh, oh my god. <laughs> this is a 30 millimeter crochet hook. Biggest one I've ever seen. I mean, the biggest one I had until now is this one. And this one looks like... Like it, this is its mommy. Like... Oh, mommy, I missed you so much. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. The last thing in here says, for your wine lover habit. Doris knows me very well. <laughs> <gasps> Look at it. Wow. It's a crystal wine cork look at that bling oh wow well you guys all know this will be put to good use right oh my god <gasps> fancy schmancy oh i'm going to drink wine in style on the next year university and can you believe it this is now empty. The box is now empty. I am surrounded with yarn and notions and oh my god, my mind is blown. Doris, thank you. I am... <laughs> I don't know what to say. I am speechless. I am so, so thankful. Full of gratitude. I have so many ideas. I can't wait to start using this all. have no idea where I'm going to store it all. And you, wow. Wow. I mean, all I did was send you some yarn from Germany. <laughs> Thank you, Doris. You have made my year. <laughs> I feel like, I said, I feel like it's my birthday or Christmas or, oh my god. I'm speechless. Um, you guys, make sure to let Doris know in the comments how wonderful she is and what beautiful things she makes. Um, I Doris, if you comment and let us know where we can get this stuff, I will edit it back into my description box as well as pin your comment to the top comments so that everyone can see it and um go check her out uh you know i know she's on instagram uh rose cottage studio um and she's amazing <laughs> so thank you all if you stayed until now um you know please give this video a thumbs up uh, it's not for me, it's for Doris. Please, you know, leave her a comment down below and let her know how amazing she is because um, I can't say that enough. And thank you all very, very much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!